Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about Chrome Canary or aka Chrome 64 bits for Windows. Um, it is compatible for Windows 7 and Windows 8 and Chrome Canary is the first 64-bit version of Google Chrome available now as a uh, untried and unofficial beta version. So uh, keep in mind that if you install this piece of software it might crash, it might have unusual effects because it is not a complete piece of software. So unless you really need it, if you use Chrome, keep your 32-bit Chrome version at least until Google actually tells you, well, this is the finished version of Google Chrome 64 bits. So how do you get this Chrome Canary? Just open a Google page and type Chrome Canary in the search. Um, and you'll see Chrome Canary Google that you can download. Make sure that you are on uh, Google.com or some Google page. That is very important. If you see that you're on some other um, web page to download Chrome Canary, don't do it. So you should be on a Google, here I'm in Canada, so I'm on google.ca for Google Chrome browser uh, here at the top. Now get on the bleeding edge of the web. It does say to do download Google Chrome Canary here for Windows 8 and 7, 64 bits. Uh, they do give a disclaimer here and it does say Google Chrome Canary has the newest of the new Chrome features. Be forewarned, it's designed for developers and early adopters and can sometimes break down completely. So it's not totally uh, for everyone. So you just click here and uh, you know accept and install as they're letting you know. Click Chrome Setup and there it's going to download the 64-bit version of Chrome. I've been um, one of the early adopters of a, the Google Chrome and um, I actually installed the 32-bit version way before it was an official version for everyone and actually it worked well from the start so um, there are possibilities that this Google Chrome download 64-bit um, is probably going to work quite well. So uh, hopefully it will. And here we have a new app for opening web pages. And here we are at Chrome 64 bits. Once installed, you see that it opens itself automatically. It wants you to log in into your Chrome account or your Google Gmail account. And you have the getting started with Google Chrome. So uh, you can check that out and see how it works. So the difference, the main difference at the start for the Google Chrome is that now I have a regular 32-bit Chrome and a 64-bit Chrome, which has a golden color instead of the regular red, yellow, and green with the blue center icon. Now, your regular Google Chrome still works. Um, if you look at the properties, you see that where it is on the x86 uh, Google Chrome, Program Files x86. But if you look at the 64-bit version, you see that now it's on Users, App Data, Local, Google Chrome. So it's in a different location. So it does not remove your old 32-bit, that's the good news. And all you have to do is just simply click Google Chrome, log in with your Gmail if you have a Gmail, set it up, and uh, hopefully you will uh, find it interesting. Uh, so you'll have a 64-bit environment. Look for the test that I'll be putting up on my Windows 8. I will be, of course, talking about it and letting you know what I think as soon as I've tested it for a few days. So I'm not going to post that up immediately, but in three or four days, look for that Google Chrome um, review. I'll be letting you know how it goes, how fast it is. Is it faster? Is it better than the 32-bit? 
and uh, my observations. So hope that uh, if you are an early adopter or someone that likes to try out new software, why not, you know, try it out. And uh, what's cool is that it's independent from your 32-bit Chrome, so you can still use the old version if the 64-bit version crashes. Hope you enjoy our videos. And uh, if you do, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, or any Windows 8 features you'd like us to make a video of, why not ask us? And we'll try to put that video online. And hopefully you will come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.